Alright. Alright, I had already used this end and tried it out earlier before I even started today. So the first end that we proved was this 3 eighths of an inch end. Then, on the other end of this same spindle, this 7 sixteenths diameter, we just now proved it. And let me uh, fix up this end to get it ready to go and we'll measure it and see. It's probably going to be half inch. I never use a half inch uh, hot end of a spindle. But let's give it a try. I got a pretty soft board here, so if you're using a big end, you'll want to use a soft board on that. So let's see. Yep, it's right on a half inch, isn't it? All right, my strategy on this fireboard to keep from there being so much work on me is a very thin board with just the right density. And I think this area right here would be the best for such a big fat spindle. Let's try it. That's a very thin fireboard. Let's see what it'll do. Yeah, I'm all the way through the board. It's very hard up here. It might be too hard. Maybe this is a happy medium right here. Let me. I'm not going to make you sit through watching me do the burn in and cutting the notch again. Let me get this prepped and we'll try it right here. Boy, that was a lot of work. Oh, we had it for a while.
Let me take a break and we'll come back and try it some more. Too soft. That part is too soft. I need a happy medium. Somewhere between this hardness and that softness. Too tired to do any more. All right, this is the last time I'm going to try it. So I think I'll go ahead and use ashes on my hands. And I've always said that. Ashes are no better than spit. They just last. They don't dry up on your hands. You don't have to keep putting it on your hands. But if I were perchance to get an ember this time with ashes on my hands, we would know for a fact that ashes on the hands are much better than spit. So let's see. Let's do this experiment. I think I will reuse that dust. And this is my last attempt. This is all the time that I have to devote to this and just about all the energy I have to devote to it. Oh, I could feel that the ashes were much better. I was able to bear down a lot harder, so yes, I guess you could consider ashes on the hands a cheat. But it would not be unusual for people to carry ashes with them, for people to come up on a old fire pit and be able to use those ashes. I'm just glad we were able to get that half inch end right there uh, on the seventh divot, the second try on the seventh divot. It's about time. It's about time. And so now we have proven the other three ends. And we learned a thing about ashes. You can apply a whole lot more force, downward force, without slipping on a spindle when you use ashes. Alright y'all, thanks for joining me on this experiment. We'll catch you on the next one.